You ready to rock and roll this choo-choo train? All right, YouTube Nation, been a while. Welcome back to another video here by Wendell Lee Well Services. I've uh, been kind of busy, so I've been kind of slack on my videos. I apologize for that. Uh, we're going to get back into a doozy uh, subject for you today. Since I've been out for so long, y'all can probably guess what we're going to talk about. What are we going to talk about, cameraman? We're going to talk about some well drilling stuff. That's right. Uh, we're going to talk about a well seal. Yep, it's uh, not that uh, grand of a topic, but... Uh, had a service call we went on the other day that kind of interests my, uh, I guess, information on this uh, topic here. So just wanted to go over it with you all. So what I'm showing here is a typical setup for a uh, above ground installation. Uh, you know, this is not a uh, setup that you'll see up north where the frost lines down three or four feet deep. Uh, you know, up north they'll have a sanitary well cap on top of the well head above the ground, and then the the pump will be hung on a pitless adapter, uh, you know, three or four feet above, uh, below the ground. So this is not simulating that. This is simulating a uh, typical uh, well pump installation in a uh, warmer climate where the frost line's not that deep. So here's the actual well seal itself. Sits on top of the casing. Um, you know, this is a plastic well seal. Um, this hole is for the pump uh, pipe that goes down in the well. You've got a hole for the wire coming out. Then you've got a access port here uh, that you can screw a vent onto that we typically put on, or if you need to drop chlorine or anything else uh, in the well, uh, you can do that as well. Now, the main point of today's video was to, number one, show the importance of a well seal. Obviously, it seals off any contaminants from getting in the well. It gives you a proper way to support a pump. And not only that, it's neat and cheap. They don't really cost a whole lot of money. Now, this is, this is a six inch well casing. They make well seals and, you know, for four inch, six inch, eight inch, you know, whatever size well you have. Uh, but what prompted this video is, is if you have a metal well seal, okay? So, you know, we have some old well seals here. Uh, you can see, you know, they, this is for an old four inch well that has one hole in it. Uh, you know, this is for a six inch well that has two larger holes in it. This would be for if you had a well that had a, uh, a jet pump installed in it. But the point I'm trying to get at here is these metal ones are obviously different. Okay, here's the plastic one. You can see the plastic one is one solid piece on the bottom. The metal ones aren't. The metal has uh, two pieces on the bottom. The plastic ones, hold on, let me get my hands coordinated here. The plastic ones have the nuts on the top with the head of the bolt sticking in the bottom, whereas the metal ones don't. The metal, the metal have the uh, head of the bolt on top with no nuts on the bottom. So this leads me into the main point of the video, which is, can't tell you how many times this has happened where uh, somebody tries to go out and pull their well pump out, and what's the first thing they do? This well seal sitting on top. Oh, I can't get the well seal out, so I'm gonna screw all these bolts out. Well, what do you think happens? When you screw all these bolts out, this piece falls down in the well. And it gets lodged between your pump, or gets lodged where the casing goes in the rock, and voila, you can't get your pump out. So, number one thing I wanted to bring up in this video is, is if you're going to pull your, obviously besides the point of a well seal. But the, the second point is, is if you're going to pull your pump out on your own, don't loosen these bolts all the way. Just loosen them up a little bit. And if you can't get it out, let me put this on here. You know, well, bear with me here. It's been a while since we've done a video. You know, most of the time they're sitting on like this. You could take a hammer and kind of put pry up on this a little bit and help ease it out. Um, you know, this is not a, generally this is not for any, you know, this is not a problem for any uh, a pump service man or licensed pump technician that's gonna have a truck. You know, we can hook our truck up to it and pull these right out. But the number one thing not to do is to take these bolts and uh, unscrew them that's gonna cause one of these pieces to fall down and wedge between your pump and the, and the hole of the well and you won't be getting your pump out. You'll have bigger issues to deal with. 
So just wanted to go over the function of a well seal and what not to do if you're, uh, you know, trying to access your pump. Uh, again, do not unscrew the bolts all the way out. Just loosen them and try to get the well seal out. And if you can't get them out, call somebody uh, with a truck or with something that can get it out for you. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, we stock all kind of well seals, uh, sizes, metal, plastic. Um, you know, they're pretty common out there on the market. So whatever you need, uh, you know, it's out there. We can get it or somebody else can get it for you. Uh, so check out our store. Check us out at WendellyWellServices.com. Thanks for watching.